Okay, we're here with more of Bobby's Fantasy. Uh, this time, it is, I'm going to talk about the NFL fantasy football, and I'm going to name my top five good picks and my top five bad picks from overall this year. Um, starting out at number five for my <clears throat> top five bad picks was a defense everyone thought would be good was the Cincinnati Bengals. They didn't play well as a team, and their defense definitely was not one of the best. Number four. This guy was a big surprise to me that I don't think you should have picked him. Chad Johnson. Chad Johnson did not have a good season. He was right next to T.O. Was, T.O. was supposed to take the pressure off Chad, but that didn't happen. So now everything is pretty much blowing up in their faces, and now they got to make a choice on what they're going to do. Number three, Carson Palmer. Carson Palmer, even though having two great receivers, didn't do anything all year. So I definitely think that he needs to uh, step it up and lead this team next year when they come back. Uh, number two, Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch might have come on strong at the end of the season for the Seattle Seahawks, but he was not good at the beginning of the season for the uh, Buffalo Bills. He did not play well and just definitely wasn't deserving of uh, really anything. I mean, he did have a nice run against New Orleans and he did come on strong at the end, but he just really wasn't all that great. Um, for my number one, <clears throat> Excuse me. My number one uh, bad pick for this year's NFL fantasy drafts. Um, I think I'm gonna surprise a lot of you when I when I say this, but uh, unfortunately, it is true. One of the worst picks you could have made is Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward is now becoming more of the average receiver, and Mike Wallace becoming more of the standout. Wallace has developed himself as more of the go-to guy than Heinz Ward has. Um, I definitely think Mike Wallace would have been the better choice if you got to pick the two, but um, Heinz Ward's definitely not a guy you would have wanted to pick. Um, out of my top five good picks for this year. Number five, a good pick for you would have been the, uh, I just blank, sorry, the Chicago Bears defense. The Bears played very well all year, obviously getting their great record. Their defense played solid and they caused turnovers, and they just played all around really well. Uh, number four, Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco had a great season with Baltimore, and I'm kind of disappointed it got ended because he is a great quarterback, and he had an amazing season and just all-around beautiful season. Um, number three, I'm going to have to go with Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan had a great year, not throwing many picks. Granted, they did get stopped by Green Bay, but Green Bay does have a good defense. Um, number two, Michael Vick. Michael Vick came back this year. Uh, Eagles, new team, I mean, he's trying to rebound, get past this whole thing. And I think he did a good job. I think we should all just kind of forget about what he's done and focus on what he's doing now and how great he played football this year for this Eagle team. And he did really prove to a lot of people that he was is a good player and he deserved to be forgiven. Um, number one, I wasn't at all surprised, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers had an amazing year for Green Bay. I mean, they have Donald Driver, they have Donald Lee, they did have Jermichael Finley until he was out because of Allen IR. Uh, they have Greg Jennings, and it's just an all-about dangerous team. And when you add Brandon Jackson or Ryan Granite to the mix, you really don't know how to stop them. But Aaron Rodgers definitely, my, in my opinion, the best fantasy player this year. Um, I'd just like to give you guys my honorable mention for good picks of the year. Greg Jennings of the Packers, wide receiver, very good pick. He played very well and really had solid games, boom, boom, every time. He never had a bad game, really. Maybe he, I think he might have had one bad game, but that was it. Um, another honorable mention would have to be Eli Manning. Eli did good. He wasn't all that great. He didn't lead the Giants to the playoffs or anything, but he did good. Uh, Ray Rice, running back for the Baltimore Ravens, did very well, but they came up short. And my last honorable mention has to be my buddy, Peyton Manning. Uh, he had a very good year. Unfortunately, they got ended up short, but I definitely think that Manning is a great quarterback, and he deserves to at least be mentioned on Bobby's Fantasy Top 10 uh, players. Five worst, five best. That's pretty much how I'm going to tell you guys. Um, I'll probably upload another video soon. Talk to you guys later.